Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Croatian Eurovision Club. My name is Emily. I'm an English speaking contributor to this channel, and I'm currently at the Eurovision Song Contest 2021 in Rotterdam. Not feeling myself today. I mean, I'm not going to say today because it's not a day thing, it's just right now. I'm sure as soon as I get to the arena, that will totally change. Look how nice it is. I'm sorry, but when I looked at the weather, screenshot it and sent it to the WhatsApp group. And it said it was gonna rain every single day. But look how bloody nice it is. I have no one to talk to, so I guess I'm just gonna talk to you. Today was like my first day, like, as proper press. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a really good day. Like, I was so nervous about it, but then I had a really good day. And I was like, yes, I'm gonna feel so confident tomorrow, like I've got this, I'm so good at my job, you know, I was just feeling really confident and I was great, but I woke up this morning and to be honest I'm not feeling that way, but I have no reason to not feel that way. And I usually wouldn't really talk about this because I just don't really think anyone's that interested. So, I have severe emetophobia, which, even though it's a specific phobia, it gives me a lot of day-to-day -day anxiety. And I've also struggled with depression for the last, god, six years. Jeez, me. And I take medication for that. I take antidepressants, and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm fed up of being hesitant to tell people that I take antidepressants like because I fear it makes them see me as unstable which I'm not my condition causes me to be unstable and therefore I take the medication to combat it for some reason taking meds seems to be more taboo than actually having depression which is just really stupid. The tablets help a lot with my anxiety, like, I'll give them that, they help a lot. But with the depression, they don't do as much. It's still a fight. Every day it's a fight. You know, this is a dream come true. A dream I didn't even know I had has come true and it's just really frustrating because I'm still struggling to motivate myself to go down and do my job, to go down to the arena. I guess I want people to know that even when you have the most amazing life, you're living a dream you didn't even know you had, you're at the Eurovision Song Contest, you have the most amazing friends and family and team in the world, and you take medication, and you've got loads of support, and you've been dealing with this for six years, it's still every day is a fight and it's not an illness it's a condition it's it's ongoing it doesn't ever stop you can't cure it and that might discourage some people but you can't cure it you just learn to live with it and most days it's okay most days you make it and you get out of the house and then you feel joy and excitement but some days it's really hard and some days it feels impossible sometimes your brain just rewires things like i could be watching live rehearsals like in the arena of the Eurovision song contest and my brain's like yeah but it's not that big of a deal i'd rather just stay at home what and when I'm there, I'm like, oh my god, this is my strength thing. The thing is, I did it yesterday. I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be a great day. But my brain's struggling to do it. And I'm going to do it. I have to do it. It's my job. And I'm proud of myself because a year ago, I probably just wouldn't have done it. It's just really annoying to have to live with this and to put up with this fight. Some days, some days it's okay. But I very rarely talk about my mental health. But... We should. I think it's, I don't want to dampen my image of like this weird, happy, crazy girl. And 
that isn't an image, that is who I am. It just takes a fight to get to find her every morning. I don't know, today is just one of those days where I'm really feeling exhausted by it. And like the kettle's just boiled and just going over to get it is like, what's the point? <laughs> just say stupid, because obviously there's a point, the kettle's just boiled and I want to drink. But I fight, I fight because there's people that love me. And I love me. Everybody that loves me has helped me get here. They want to see me enjoy my life and I owe it to them to enjoy it. I owe it to God, he gave me this life and he made it so awesome, I owe it to him to enjoy it and make the most out of it. I love and care about people so deeply that I would do anything for them. That's the only reason I fight most days. Not for me, but for the people around me and for Jesus. You know, I'm just gonna eat and get ready. This is boring. Sarah, I'll see you at the Ahoy. So I just watched, oh crap, where am I? I just watched a lot of different rehearsals. And uh, now, going back to the press center to um, work watch the big five on the screen and uh, eventually interview Benny Cristo. It's I think about quarter past eight. I'm just off to go get tested again because if I don't get my COVID test redone I won't be allowed in tomorrow and it closes at nine so just failed the breathing test again. Tell me how that happens twice. Two out of two times I've done the breathing test I failed. <laughs> so it's, it's clearly me that's doing something wrong here. It's fine. Had another nose swab. Still not got COVID. Anyway, going back to the flat now. I'm back and let me tell you, I'm absolutely ravenous. I'm so hungry right now. Here's my leftovers from yesterday. Also very exciting because I just had my COVID test. I have to have one for 48 hours. So I get to drink alcohol. That's so sad, but to be honest, I have been looking forward to having this wine that I couldn't have on night one because it was too, it was too late to buy it, stupid rule. I couldn't have last night because it was too close to my COVID test. But now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. And we are in Bruin. Can now open her vino. I cannot express how excited I am right now. If I wasn't as ravenous, yes, I shouldn't be drinking, given my whole mental health dip this morning. <laughs> but to be honest, until I just said it, until I just thought about the sandwich, I forgot I had a mental health dip this morning. So, <laughs> that works. Um, yeah, because today's just been a really, really good day. I mean, it, like I said, it's a fight. It was hard to begin. But once I got out there, it was an amazing day. And I overcame so much anxiety around... I knew I was going to interview people. And there wasn't so much anxiety around that, because I can literally do that in my sleep. Talking to people is not a problem. But approaching people like there was one point I didn't have a nailed in time for Vincent Bueno I only had one for Benny Cristo why do they have such cool names anyway Vincent Bueno his manager had told my manager that he would just be like around in the press center after his press conference and I was like that's very useful um I just happened to be in the press center actually I did not actually look at the time that his press conference was because I was staying to watch Serbia I wanted to watch Serbia in the arena and I feel like that's a very valid thing to want to watch because it was a party and I actually live streamed my face through all that so go watch that that's a really fun video um what was my point yeah so I didn't actually have a set time for Vincent Bueno and I saw him actually you done I saw him actually live streaming with wee wee blogs and I was like hmm He's live streaming, his man that's that's his manager sat right there, I can see. And I was talking to the, the gang, I was like, I can see his manager. Should I go? I I feel like I should go and ask him. Like, it's the only way you're gonna get an interview, isn't it? And I was terrified, but I did it. I over him a lot of fears. I feel good about myself. I feel good. Days can get better. The beginning is not set in stone. Just take your time and look after yourself, have a cup of tea, 
you know, don't rush into anything and you'll be, you'll be okay. My microphone wasn't plugged in properly for my interviews today. And then I put my number. <laughs> You'll see in the interviews, but I just was listening to it back and I was doing Vincent first and it thought, at first I thought it was fine because I had my phone out. I was reading tweets, questions from Twitter. And then I put my phone in my pocket and you can't hear that much so i have to prep and put the audio on. i'm gonna have to do captions and it's just so annoying because things like this you cannot just refilm and the thing is i've done it with reactions before i've forgotten to turn the mic on i'm such a professional uh, i've forgotten to turn the mic on all right something with the mic it's always the sound it's never the picture, it's always the sound that does me in. It's fine because I want to do this every year of my life if ever. It's just so annoying. It's like not work that I'm proud of and it's really hard. Editing and publishing work that you're not proud of. And I'm proud of myself for doing it. I was proud of myself until the mic wasn't on, which I just discovered. So I'm unmotivated to say the least. But on the bright side, I got my press tour info through today. I'm going on Sunday at 10 to one. I'm like 100% sure I'm not gonna get invited to the turquoise carpet. That is absolutely fine. And I'm gonna stay and catch up and get so much work done. Nobody's replying to my requests for interviews tomorrow. I need to be less hard on myself. This is our very first ever time at Eurovision, none of us have ever been here before. I have had no experience. I'm not doing well if I want to get accredited next year right now. This is not a good um, application, but I have no experience. <laughs> I have never worked in press before. Like YouTube was just my hobby and it's kind of my job, but I don't get paid for my job because we're not a big outlet yet. And I I'm committed to this team. I love my team and I, I love this channel. I want it to grow. I want it to actually make us money. <laughs> like I'm paying to be here right now. I have to pay for my accommodation and my hotel and wait, what? My accommodation and my, and my travel and that's fine because I'm living a dream. I'm living a dream I didn't know I had and I'm living a dream I don't know how to maneuver. And I'm living a dream alone, deep, but it it's, so much. I don't know what my point of this is. This whole video is basically just been a video of me moaning. But at the same time, that's okay. Because like I said, you're the only person I can talk to. I'm just really frustrated. I just have really high standards for myself and I don't want to look amateur. But at the end of the day, we are amateur. Like we're not professional. So I need to give myself slack, but I'm like, no, I'm at Eurovision. I'm gonna be a professional. I truly believe like you gotta fake it till you make it. It's just really hard investing your time into content that you're not proud of. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do the whole the whole lot. Follow us, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, website, follow me, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook No, please do not add me on Facebook. TikTok, maybe, um that's it. Bye. <laughs> Stop.